When setting up a workpiece on a milling machine, the operator should already know each step of the machining process that is going to take place on the machine. A great percentage of machining failures are due to the lack of planning and the visualization of how the steps will progress. Creating a work zero is an essential step in the setup of a workpiece. Keep in mind that a work zero may be placed at any point along the X and Y travel of the milling machine, but in most cases machinists will work off a square corner of a workpiece. The reason that the corner is chosen to set the work zero point is because all of the part features can be referenced back to this location. It is also very simple for a machinist to find this corner position. An edge finder is a common tool found in machine shops and should be one of the easiest to master along your experience on the milling machine. Notice the construction of the edge finder. The shank is short and rigid and the end of the edge finder is spring loaded. Notice how the spring loaded portion moves around freely when touched. Edge finders can find workpiece edges with repeatable accuracy, usually within five ten thousandths of an inch. Edge finders can be held in the spindle of a mill with a collet or with a drill chuck. Be sure that the edge finder is extended far enough out of the tool holder so it may touch the edge of the workpiece. The movable cylinder of the edge finder typically has a size of two hundred thousandths, but there are other sizes available. It is advisable that you always measure this tool before assuming its size. Once the tool holder holds the edge finder securely, the tool is put into place and the spindle is engaged. The ideal RPM range for an edge finder is 800 to 1000 RPMs. Once the tool is spinning, the operator purposely pushes the cylinder out of round with the shank. This is where the term wobbler originates, which is occasionally used to describe the tool. The operator then approaches the edge of the workpiece. In this example, the operator is approaching the left side of the workpiece. While moving along the x-axis, he is trying to find the zero point of the axis. As the edge finder moves in, it touches the workpiece edge. Watch as the edge finder begins to rotate less and less out of round. Now the edge finder is rotating perfectly in line with the shank. The operator moves the tool just a hair more. The edge finder has now pushed off. This is where the operator should adjust his machine coordinates and place the x-axis at zero. But is the center of the edge finder over the center of the edge of the workpiece? The answer is no. Since this edge finder's diameter is 200 thousandths, we must adjust the x0 position over by 100 thousandths to get to the center of the edge finder. Now the workpiece has an x0 position with the spindle center set at the edge of the workpiece and the operator makes sure to zero out the machine to reflect that adjustment. This procedure is repeated to find the y-axis zero.